Okay, Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a good break. And today we have um, a speaker from Riken, uh, Kazuki um, Yokomizo, excuse my wrong pronunciation, and he will talk about non block band theory of non emission systems. So, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Okay, so thank you for the introduction. And uh, so I thank uh, to organizer for uh, giving uh, the chance to talk about my uh, so work. So today I'd like to talk about our uh, research uh, for the number of band theory of non harm chance systems. So I'm Kazuki Okomizo uh, coming from the Riken. Yeah, so first of all, uh, so, uh, so I, uh, so I thank for I'm thankful to the so my supervisor, uh, uh, Murakami, uh, who is a professor in the Tokyo Institute of Technology, and uh, so we are also thankful to the uh, Zone One, uh, who is the so professor in Tifa University. So uh, he is the. Uh, so pioneer pioneer uh, of the uh, studies on the Nahamishan skin effect. Uh, so I will uh, talk later. So yeah, so I show the contents in my talk. So first of all, I introduced the uh, concept of the number of band theory in Nahamishan systems. And uh, so in the second, second, uh, third and the fourth part, parts, and uh, so, So can you can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, so so uh, 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 so in the second part, so uh, I will talk about uh, so uh, number of band theory in a tight binding system, and uh, so in the third and the fourth parts, uh, so I will talk about the application so the number of band theory to the uh, bosonic system and the continuous system. Uh, oops. Okay. So, and uh, so, yeah. First of all, I uh, I talk about the history of the Nahamishan quantum mechanics. So, yeah. Uh, historically, uh, so uh, the scattering problem and uh, the localization problem uh, was studied was studied in terms of the non Hamishan quantum mechanics. So first, uh, in the scattering problem, uh, the resonant scattering uh, was uh, uh, studied in terms of the complex potential. Uh, so by introducing the complex potential, uh, the Ham Hamiltonian uh, becomes the non Hamishan, and uh, we studied the uh, uh, scattering problem, problem in the non Hamishan quantum mechanics. And uh, next in the uh, local uh, so in the localization problem, the uh, flux spinning in the no uh, in a superconductor uh, was studied in uh, terms of the non Hamishan Hamiltonian. And uh, so uh, the Hatano sensei, who is a pro professor in the University of Tokyo, uh, proposed uh, the uh, studies on the non Hamishan. Hamiltonian, so, and uh, so it, it is well known as the Hatton Nelson model. And uh, in recent years, uh, the non Hamishan systems mean the non equilibrium systems, uh, which can be described by the uh, non Hamishan Hamiltonian. And uh, so, by uh, developing uh, the laser techniques, so we can access. We can be accessible uh, to the non Hamishan systems in the, uh, some physical systems, for example, uh, optical lattice system and the photonic systems. And uh, yeah, very recently, uh, the uh, electron systems uh, also exhibit the non Hamishan physics. So, yeah, first of all, uh, as an introduction, so I will talk about the uh, uh, so concept of the number of band theory in terms of the uh, topology. Uh, so, 
yeah, topological uh, bulk edge correspondence. So first of all, uh, I introduced the uh, uh, Su-3 Fahiga model and uh, shown this. So this uh, model has uh, two, su uh, two sub lattices uh, uh, represented by the uh, blue and red. And uh, so this system has uh, so intra hopping term T1 and uh, inter hopping term T2. So yeah, uh, in the uh, periodic boundary condition, so we can get the block Hamiltonian of this system as uh, this. And uh, so by diagonalizing this uh, block Hamiltonian, uh, we can get the uh, eigen energy in the bulk as this. So from this uh, formula, uh, so this uh, formulation, uh, the form formula, so we can get the band gap closing point uh, like this. So if uh, k is equal to pi and t1 equal t1 is equal to t2, and uh, if k is equal to zero, uh, t1 is equal to minus t2, uh, the band gap uh, closes. So, uh, uh, so importantly, when the uh, 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 so when the t two is larger than the t one, uh, so the uh, sublattices, uh, red sublattices and the blue sublattices uh, form the dimer as shown this, and uh, so uh, these uh, blue and red sublattices uh, are isolated. And uh, so this, uh, at these uh, sublattices, the edge states appear in this system. In fact, uh, so the, uh, so the when the absolute value of the T1 is less than the absolute value of the T2, the edge states appear. Uh, so indeed, uh, so this, uh, because this system has the sublattice symmetry, the edge states appear around the uh, zero energy. And uh, so you can see that uh, so no edge states, uh, uh, sorry, edge states does not uh, exist when the uh, absolute value of the T1 uh, is larger than the absolute value of T2. So, and uh, so the uh, the switch uh, between the so appear, appearance and the disappearance of the edge states uh, corresponds to the band gap closing points. And uh, so this uh, so edge states can be characterized by the uh, topological number called the winding number. Uh, in fact, the winding number can be defined as this form uh, from the uh, Q matrix as shown this. And uh, so when the winding number uh, is equal to one, the edge states appear. And uh, so, so we can get the important consequence uh, that uh, so bulk edge correspondence. In the bulk edge correspondence, the non-trivial topological invariant corresponds to the appearance of the edge states. So this is the uh, so uh, topological. This is a, a very important uh, consequence in the topological system. In the Hamishan, oh, sorry, in the Hamishan systems. And uh, so next, uh, so I. Ah. So. There's a question by Philip. Philip. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good morning. Um, you found the condition for the edge states uh, as a topological invariant. Don't you also need that for the stability of the edge states? Uh, uh, so stability... I mean, you've just looked at the equation of motion, but you have to look at the second derivative to show that the states are stable. And usually uh -huh. topological invariants do stabilize these configurations. I was just asking. Uh, eh, so you mean that? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Eh, so ah, uh, sorry. Eh, so the winding number is stabilized. So ah, uh, yeah. So the winding number uh, remains the 
uh, uh, the winding number remain to the take the number one uh, if the uh, if when the t1 is less than the t2 and uh, so the uh, value of the winding number is changes when the bulk band gap closes yes well anyway i i i, I, I sort of, it's fine i just think you you might look into it a little bit more i think you'll find that the topological invariant w being one makes yeah. the state stable uh -huh. that's, my, uh, that's my guess yeah uh, okay oh uh, yeah Okay, so okay, so I continue to the uh, so introduce the Hamishan SSH model. So okay, so uh, so I yeah, so in the Nahamishan SSH model, so uh, I uh, so okay, so this model has a uh, uh, so uh, sorry, uh, so this model is similar to the uh, conventional Hamishan SSH model, but uh, so this model has a uh, Asymmetric hopping amplitude t1 plus minus gamma over two. So this uh, asymmetric hopping term, uh, uh, so uh, uh, leads to the non-hermeticity. And uh, so in this model, when we set the bulk wave number k to be real, the bulk uh, eigen energy uh, can be obtained by this form. And uh, we can get the band gap closing points at this. So, yeah, we so because we can get the uh, so band gap, uh, so we can get the four points at the band gap closing points. Uh, so we expect that the uh, so appearance and uh, the disappearance. Uh, uh, of the topological edge states, uh, so corresponds to these band gap closing points. Uh, however, uh, the so uh, so so uh, so this is uh, this does not match with result for the uh, open chain. Uh, so, in fact, in this figure, the green dashed line represents the this uh, four band gap closing points and uh, so blue line uh, so is calculated in the uh, periodic uh, periodic boundary condition and uh, yeah in fact uh, so in the uh, open boundary condition the uh, topological edge states uh, appear as shown in let red region and uh, so this uh, red region uh, does not correspond to the so these uh, these uh, so green dash lines so this is why uh, it seems to be violated in the conventional bulk edge correspondence in the non hamishan ssh model so yeah so why does the the question arises is that the why does a uh, balance correspondence seems to be violated in the non-Hamishan systems? So, in order to explain uh, this question, so we focus on the periodic chain and the open chain. So, first of all, uh, one-dimensional Hamishan system in the periodic chain. Uh, so, the, uh, due to the uh, translation translation symmetry. So uh, we can get the block wave number k to be real. Uh, on the other hand, in the open chain, uh, block wave number is defined because of the no translation symmetry. Uh, but nevertheless, the energy spectrum in a periodic chain is asymptotically same as the energy spectrum in an open chain in the limit of a large system size. So we can use the real block wave number for analyzing an uh, open chain. Uh, so do you have a question? Yes, the, the open chain does not become the same as the periodic chain when you make it infinite length. 
you still uh -huh. have to you still have to identify the two points at, at infinity. I mean, there's still a, the periodic chain also has a boundary condition at the edge, whereas the open chain, no matter how big it is, does not have a boundary condition at the edge. Mm -hmm. So I don't see how the energy spectra can be equal, unless you actually say I'm going to identify the two endpoints into one point because that then gives you a that gives you a closed chain. Uh, so, uh, yeah, in fact, uh, yeah, in fact, the uh, so the energy spectrum uh, so depends on the boundary conditions, uh, so periodic boundary condition and the open boundary condition. Uh, but however, and so in both uh, cases, the uh, so wave function uh, ex uh, so behaves uh, so uh, so uh, okay so the wave function in the periodic chain uh, behaves uh, uh, similarly to the so to that in open chain so yeah this is because uh, so uh, in the not in the Hermitian system the wave function extends over uh, over the whole system so yeah, uh, so so this is the, uh, why the uh, asymptotic behavior of the uh, system in the limit of large system size uh, is the same in both cases. Well, um, I mean, all, all, I, all I'm saying is if you take a sphere and you make its radius bigger and bigger and bigger, it does not become a plane. It only becomes locally a plane. It doesn't become globally a plane. And it's the global behavior that fixes the boundary conditions that fixes the energy. That's what yeah, I would yeah, have yeah. thought. I mean, that's what I would have thought. I mean, maybe it works differently in this case. Sorry, so... Uh, uh... So, um, uh, you mean that, uh, uh, so, uh, um, why not just think of it as a one dimensional quantum mechanics problem? where you have uh, periodic boundary conditions or else boundary conditions at infinity. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all that Philip is asking. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Have... Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, in, in, in fact, so, uh, so in, in our in our work, uh, so we studied uh, uh, so asymptotic behavior of the uh, uh, so open 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 chain in the non Hamitian systems. So uh, so yeah, namely yeah, so namely the uh, so yeah, first of all we consider the so finite uh, so we con First of all, uh, we consider the so non Hamishan open chain with the uh, finite system size and uh, so uh, in the thermodynamic uh, so and uh, so uh, so we study the uh, so uh, your commission san your commission uh, yeah. san may may, may uh, help look it, it uh, continuing what Carl was suggesting just imagine com uh, quantizing a particle on a ring or a particle in a box, in a one-dimensional box with uh, rigid walls. In the, in the, on the ring, you have periodic boundary conditions. So you have uh, right moving or left moving uh, waves. On, in the box, you have just standing wave. Uh, uh -huh. So in the box, with Dirichlet, with Dirichlet boundary conditions, wave functions has to vanish at the end points. You just have sign, sign functions. Uh -huh. so, and in the, on the ring, you have e to the ik or e to the minus ikn. That's it. And in the thermodynamic limit, you're absolutely right. The, the difference in spectra doesn't matter. That's, that's the vile, vile uh, uh, 
uh, low for uh, uh, asymptotic behavior of the density of states. Uh, 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 limit, it just depends on the, on the size of the system. That's it. It doesn't care about the boundary condition. Only if you uh, uh, make corrections, to subleading corrections, you will see the difference between different boundary conditions. That's it. Uh, uh, I see, I see. Uh... Anyway, listen, why, why don't you just continue? And uh, Josh has brought up an interesting point. Maybe we can discuss it at the end. Yeah, okay, thank you. So, yeah, okay, I, I will continue. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so in fact, I, uh, so I stress that uh, the so uh, okay so the behavior of the wave function in the periodic chain uh, so is the same as that in the uh, open chain in the Hermitian system. Um, but ha however, in the uh, non-Hermitian systems, uh, so the situation is uh, similar to the non-Hermitian systems in the periodic boundary, uh, periodic chain and the open chain. Uh, so yeah, I mean that as a uh, block wave number k is uh, it can be defined in the periodic boundary condition, and the block wave number is de defined in the uh, open boundary condition. However, uh, the energy spectrum in a periodic chain and an open chain are different, even in the limit of large system sites because of the non hamishan skin effect. So we cannot adapt the real growth wave number for studying an open chain. So yeah, here, the uh, so what is the non hamishan skin effect? The non hamishan skin effect was proposed by this previous work uh, so in the so uh, Professor Zon Wan's group. So in the non-Hermitian skin effect uh, in the open boundary conditions, the eigenstates in the bulk are localized at either end of an open chain. Uh, on the other hand, in the periodic boundary conditions, the eigenstates in the bulk extend over a whole system in a periodic chain. So I stress that uh, the behavior uh, of the wave function uh, is different from uh, the wave function uh, the behavior of the wave function in an open chain is different from the that in a periodic chain. So localization and uh, extension. So this is because uh, as a, this is why we need to modify the conventional broker bands theory in the non-Hermitian systems. So, okay. In the second part, uh, so I will talk about the number of theory in a tight binding system. So, as I explained, uh, while the block wave number becomes real in a Hermitian system, uh, it becomes complex in a non Hermitian system. Then the question arises uh, so, how can we determine the brilliant zone in a non Hermitian system? And uh, in our work, the main result is that we determine the brilliant zone for the complex wave number k uh, in terms of the number of bound theory. So first of all, uh, so I will explain the concept of the number of band theory. Yeah, so in the non-Hermitian system, uh, first of all, we consider a finite open chain uh, with the system size L. So in this system, uh, so we can get the uh, energy levels, some energy levels by diagonalizing the non-Hermitian Hamiltonian and uh, as the system size increases, uh, this, uh, these energy levels uh, becomes uh, uh, gradually uh, becomes uh, dense. And uh, finally, in the thermodynamic limit, uh, so this, uh, these energy levels form the uh, continuum set, uh, which are the energy spectra. So, 
so uh, in this sense, uh, the concept of the non-block band theory is that we should define the Brillouin zone to construct the energy spectra. Uh, however, this is abstract of the non-block band theory. So I will show the uh, uh, calculation of the energy spectrum and uh, the generalized uh, the Brillouin zone in the simple tight binding model as shown this. So, the Hamiltonian of this system uh, uh, is given by this form. And uh, so TR and the TL uh, represents the asymmetric hopping amplitude. And uh, so from this Hamiltonian, the real space eigen equation uh, as, the, oh, as this uh, is uh, written as the uh, recursion equation. And uh, so Psi, N uh, is the components of the wave function. So uh, from the uh, general from the uh, general differential uh, equation and from the theory of the differential equation, so we can get the general solution of this recursion equation uh, as this. And uh, the beta one and the beta two uh, are the solutions of the characteristic equation. So yeah, let me know that uh, so beta one and the beta, uh, so beta uh, so can be interpreted as the uh, exponential i k uh, and the k is the block wave number. Uh, in fact, uh, so in the Hermitian case with the TL is equal to the TR, uh, so by substituting the beta uh, beta equal exponential i k to uh, this characteristic equation, uh, so we can get the well known cosine type uh, energy spectrum. Uh, so. Uh, so in the Sorry. So in the uh, simple tight binding system, uh, so uh, by imposing the open boundary conditions uh, as this, so uh, we can get the uh, energy levels uh, analytically. For, uh, in fact, uh, from the open boundary conditions uh, and the general solution, uh, we can uh, gets the conditions uh, so that the uh, combination coefficients takes non-zero values. And so, uh, so, yeah, so this condition can be written as this form. And uh, in this case, uh, from the Vieta's, uh, Vieta's formula, so the absolute value of the beta one and the beta two can be uh, determined as the uh, square root TR over TL. And uh, finally, uh, so by combining uh, this form and this form, so we can get the beta one and the beta two and the energy levels. Uh, the here, theta M uh, is defined as this form. So, so in this figure, uh, so we uh, plot the beta one and the beta two and the uh, energy levels. Uh, so, uh, in the finite open chain, so these, uh, uh, so these uh, values uh, uh, takes the uh, uh, sorry, uh, these values are discrete. However. Uh, so in the thermodynamic limit, uh, L to be infinite. So this, uh, uh, so, uh, so these sets uh, forms uh, uh, continuous loops and uh, these energy levels forms the uh, so continuum set. So yeah, namely in the uh, infinite open chain, so we can get the energy spectrum as this. So it takes uh, 
the values in the range between the uh, minus two square TRTL to uh, two square TRTL. And uh, the, uh, so this continuous trajectory of beta is called, is uh, generalized, uh, is a brilliant zone in the non Hamishan systems. And uh, so we called uh, this uh, trajectory uh, the generalized brilliant zone. So, uh, so far, so I, do, I give the explanation of the uh, derivation of the generated brilliant zone and uh, uh, the energy spectrum. And, uh, so, uh, and uh, so in the number of bound theory, so we can generalize uh, the uh, derivation of the gen uh, generated brilliant zone. So in general case, uh, so we, we uh, start with the one-dimensional uh, no Hamishan system with the Hamiltonian uh, given as this form. And uh, so uh, Ti mu nu represents the uh, hopping matrix. matrix. And uh, so, uh, uh, the index i uh, represents the uh, uh, range of the hopping, and uh, mu nu, uh, the index indices mu nu represents the uh, uh, number of the uh, degrees of freedom in the unit cell. Uh, so, uh, similar to the uh, simple tight binding model from this Hamiltonian. So we can get uh, the characteristic equation of the Bloch Hamiltonian. And uh, yeah, so importantly, this characteristic equation is the algebraic equation uh, for beta and uh, E. And uh, uh, the order of this algebraic equation is 2M. Here, M is defined uh, as the Q times M. So this characteristic equation has the two M uh, solutions. And uh, then, uh, so we number the solutions so as to satisfy this uh, relationship. So the condition uh, for the generated brilliant zone can be obtained as this form. Namely, the uh, absolute value of the middle, uh, I mean, the middle absolute value of the uh, solutions of the characteristic equations is equal to be e to the other. And uh, uh, so the trajectory of the beta m and the beta m plus one satisfying this condition uh, forms the generated brilliant zone. So this is the main result of the number of band theory. Okay, so uh, that is a uh, general case. So, uh, so I uh, showed, uh, so I show an example uh, of the uh, calculation of the uh, uh, generated brilliant zone. So, uh, so here, so I focus on the non SSS model as shown this. So this SSH model has uh, uh, two asymmetric hopping amplitudes, uh, T1 plus minus gamma one over two and uh, T2 plus minus gamma two over two. And uh, so this system has also the nearest, next to nearest neighbor hopping amplitude, T3. Then the characteristic, characteristic equation of this system uh, can be uh, obtained as this form. And uh, so this equation uh, is a Kartic equation for beta. Uh, because uh, this equation has uh, four solutions, uh, when, we, uh, when we number the solutions so as, so as to satisfy this relationship, we can get the condition for the generated brilliant zone as this. And uh, the, uh, the generated brilliant zone is given by the trajectories of the beta two and the beta three. In fact, uh, so 
we can get the general library and zone at this uh, in the uh, uh, in certain system parameters. And uh, so from uh, the general library and zone, uh, we can also uh, calculate the energy spectrum as this. And uh, in fact, uh, these energy spectra uh, match uh, the energy levels in a finite open chain with the system size being 100. So, yeah, so we conclude that the uh, 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 generated brilliant zone can reproduce the energy spectra in the non Hamishan uh, SSH model. And uh, so, yeah, I want to give the uh, features of the generalized brilliant zone. So the generalized brilliant zone has a unique feature. Uh, so features, features no counterparts in the Hermitian systems. So first, of, first uh, the generalized brilliant zone forms always loops and cycling Exactly origin on the uh, beta complex plane. And second, uh, the generated brilliant zone depends on the system parameters. Yeah, in fact, uh, by uh, changing the system parameters, uh, so A, A1, A2, B1, B2, so the uh, form of the uh, generated brilliant zone uh, is changed. And uh, third, uh, the generated brilliant zone can have cusps, uh, so as shown this. Uh, so, yeah, namely, the, uh, so uh, at this point, uh, so we, can, we cannot uh, differential, uh, so uh, we cannot differential, differential uh, so along the, uh, the generated brilliant zone. Uh, over, uh, over, over has a question. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit curious. Uh, could you figure out the condition under which these cusps are appearing? Because usually they are indicating that you have in your algebraic relations, which are underlying your theory, you have a special singularity there. And this is a very nice feature. I'm just curious how it, uh, what's the condition in this concrete model that you are considering? Mm -hmm. okay. Do we have an idea what is causing this cusp? Ah, what cusp. condition? Yes, what kind of condition? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. And uh, so, yeah, in fact, uh, uh, so it is easy to get the uh, condition of the cusp. And uh, so, yeah, in fact, uh, the condition for the general brilliant zone is given as this. And uh, so, at the cusp, uh, so the absolute value of the three solutions of the characteristic equation is equal to each other. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, beta, the absolute value of beta one is equal to the absolute value of the beta two is equal to the absolute value of the beta three. Yeah, uh, but this uh, indicates actually that you have underlying under your system, you have a, a special kind of other, it's, it's, it's a usual feature in catastrophe theory. Uh, that uh, such cusp, it's, it's an indication that you are close or uh, you have in your system a hidden uh, other kind of exceptional point in your system. It would be funny. Uh, no. Did you figure out this exceptional point? Ah, uh, no. Uh, so, uh, okay. So, yeah, for example, so in this, in this case, it's uh, uh, so the system doesn't have uh, the exceptional point. However, the, uh, in some cases, uh, the system can have the exceptional point. And uh, so uh, such exceptional points uh, are uh, stabilized uh, because of the cusp of the uh, general brilliant zone. So this mechanism uh, of the appearance of the exceptional points uh, was uh, revealed in uh, our other previous, uh, uh, in our pre uh, other work, however, so I will not talk about uh, this mechanism in this talk. Okay, thank you. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. 
So, okay. And, uh, uh, okay, finally, the general brilliant zone uh, becomes a unit circle in a Hermitian system. And uh, so this means that uh, uh, block wave number uh, becomes uh, real. Okay, so so far, so I showed the uh, eh, 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 the general Brillouin zone and the uh, eh, energy spectra in the non-Hamishan SSH model. And however, so uh, the question arises is why is the condition appropriate for the uh, general Brillouin zone? So I will explain this question uh, in, in uh, here. And so, yeah. And uh, the, uh, so the general solution uh, of the, uh, 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 the Schrodinger equation and uh, the open boundary condition so we can get the equation as this. So uh, this is uh, so this is the equation which uh, which uh, the uh, this is the equation in which the uh, wave function uh, must uh, uh, satisfy. And uh, yeah, so in this equation. Uh, so xj uh, is defined as this form. And importantly, xj does not uh, depend on the system size. So under the beta one, uh, the solutions of the characteristic equation is ordered as this. So yeah, from this equation, if the absolute value of the beta two is not equal to the absolute value of the beta three. So this equation has uh, only one leading term and uh, in the thermodynamic limit. Uh, so we can reduce this uh, boundary equation as this. And uh, so it does not lead to the energy spectra uh, in energy spectra and uh, the, so we conclude that uh, uh, so this uh, condition uh, cannot be uh, cannot give the condition for the generalized brilliant zone. On the other hand, if the absolute value of the beta two is equal to the absolute value of the beta three, this uh, equation has a uh, two leading term as this and as this. So in the thermodynamic limit, uh, we can uh, reduce this equation to the, this form. And uh, importantly, uh, we can get a dense set of solutions when the relative phase between beta two and beta three is changed. And uh, finally, and this set of solutions uh, means mean the energy spectra in this system. So, in conclusion, so we can get the uh, condition uh, for the uh, general brilliant zone as this form. Okay, so finally, uh, in the Nahamisha SSH model, the, the uh, 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 uh. so we explain the brackets correspondence in this system. So uh, from the Broch Hamiltonian of this system, uh, so we can define the winding number as this. And uh, in this uh, uh, form, uh, so uh, the notation means the change of the argument of the R, uh, the function R plus minus when beta goes around the general brilliant zone in a counterclockwise way. And uh, so, from this uh, winding number, uh, we establish, uh, we can establish the Barclays correspondence between the winding number and the existence of the topological edge states. In fact, so we can get the phase diagram in the non Hamishan SSH model as this. And uh, so, it, 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 it. 
uh, so in the system parameters at this uh, at register, uh, so I show the uh, loops uh, L plus minus, uh, so in which the uh, uh, the projected from projected uh, uh, from uh, the general Brayland zone to uh, the function R plus minus beta. And uh, these loops uh, simultaneously surround the origin on the complex plane. And uh, in fact, the, wa the wave na winding number uh, takes uh, uh, non zero value. And uh, in fact, uh, along this green line, uh, we calculate the energy levels in a finite open chain. And uh, we can confirm that the zero energy states uh, appear. And uh, uh, so they are topological edge states. So in this phase diagram, uh, so uh, the blue and in the blue and white regions, uh, the system is uh, uh, insulating phase. Uh, on the other hand, in the orange phase, uh, the system becomes the uh, gapless phase. And uh, so this gapless phase is the topological semi-metal phase uh, uh, studied in this in our uh, other work. However, I will. I omit to explain this topological same method. So uh, if you're interested in the, uh, so this topological same method, uh, please uh, read this uh, paper. So, okay. Uh, ah, yeah, do you have a question? Uh, yes, I have a question concerning your slide 22. Can you return to okay yes you have this uh, fraction this fraction looks uh, rather famous it's it's uh, known from projective geometry so it's actually it's a, a invariant of the group of uh, fractional transformation did you somehow figure out this uh, how these group relations are hidden in your model or can you comment on this or did you uh, if not it's 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 no problem i'm just ah, okay, curious okay. Uh-huh, ah, I see, thank you. Okay, so I continue the uh, talk. Uh, so, okay, so, uh, so as an application of the number of one theory, uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you. okay. I studied the uh, uh, bosonic system in the no, uh, in terms of the number of band theory. So in recent years, the non hermetist in the Bogolev of Dojan Hamiltonian, uh, denoted as this form, uh, has been attracting much attention. Uh, for example, in the heromonic systems, uh, superconductor and the superfluid, and uh, the bosonic system, uh, of uh, so Magnus system. So the purpose of uh, uh, this work is that uh, we want to study non Hamiltonian properties in a bosonic PDG system in terms of the number of band theory. So, yeah, uh, importantly, the bosonic BDG Hamiltonian must be diagonalized by the parietary transformation T uh, because uh, we must uh, preserve the bosonic uh, static statistic uh, after before and after uh, uh, Bogolev transformation. And uh, here the para unitary transformation T uh, is defined as this form. And uh, so this is uh, why we can get the eigen energies by diagonalizing tau z hbdz. So uh, this is, so in fact, uh, so we can map a bosonic BDG system into a non hamiltonian free boson system. So we can study a bosonic BDG system by applying the non-Brockhoff theory to Dowsett HBDG. 
Yeah, so this is the concept of this uh, uh, work. As an example, so I uh, consider the bosonic kitai fumarana chain proposed by this previous work. The Hamiltonian of this system is given by uh, this form. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me note that uh, previous work, uh, this previous work studied this model only in the case of mu is equal to B0. And uh, so from this Hamiltonian, uh, we can get the block BDZ Hamiltonian as this form. So uh, uh, in terms of the number of band theory, uh, so for solutions of the uh, characteristic, characteristic equation uh, of the sigma ZHBDZ, uh, the condition for the generated brilliant zone is given by uh, as this form. So, okay, uh, the, yeah, for example, in the, uh, in this system, so I showed uh, uh, some examples uh, of the energy spectra under the general brilliant zone in the param uh, with the system parameters as this. And in fact, uh, so we can check the number of uh, non-Hamishan skin effect occurs in this system because the uh, op uh, open boundary conditional energy spectra is uh, is not equal to the uh, periodic boundary condition energy spectra as this. And uh, in fact, the shape of the general brilliant zone uh, deviates from a unit cycle. And uh, importantly, uh, so this uh, deviation uh, appears in some regions uh, as this. And uh, so the black dashed line uh, this black dashed line uh, represents a unit circle. So from this figure, uh, so I, we find that the hermeticity and the non-hermeticity can coexist in one system. And finally, uh, so I show the real space distribution of the Bogolyubov modes as this. And uh, the as the uh, boundaries, uh, so the Bogolyubov modes are localized, and uh, uh, importantly, uh, this localization appears both ends uh, of an open chain. So, okay, uh, so this is uh, uh, ah, okay, okay. So yeah. So finally, so I uh, will talk about a continuous system uh, in terms of the non studied in terms of the number of band theory. Uh, so far, uh, most of the previous works studied some non Hamiltonian systems by using a tight binding model. And uh, of course, the number of band theory uh, has been applied only to tight binding systems. So the motivation of this work is that uh, we would like to construct the number of band theory in a continuous system. So uh, this is the setup. Uh, in the one dimensional non Hamiltonian crystal, uh, so we uh, consider the uh, so periodic, uh, so spatially periodic chain. Uh, with a lattice constant A and uh, with an uh, uh, open boundary condition. So uh, this system uh, can be described by the Schrodinger equation uh, as this form. So in this uh, Schrodinger equation, uh, P, lambda 1 and lambda 2 and V uh, are the complex functions, uh, complex periodic functions. And importantly, lambda one and uh, lambda two uh, express gauge potential terms. And uh, let me note that the system becomes Hamishan when P and V are real, and uh, lambda one star is equal to lambda two. So uh, 
due to the spatial periodicity, uh, so uh, we can expand the uh, wave function as this form. And uh, uh, all uh, periodic functions uh, can be written as Fourier series as this. And uh, by substituting uh, these forms to the Schrodinger equation, uh, so we can get the secular equation as this. And uh, so finally, uh, we can get the energy spectra by solving uh, this secular equation. However, under an open boundary condition, uh, this broad wave number k becomes complex. So uh, by uh, ob by getting uh, sorry, uh, in order to get the energy spectra, we we need to determine the uh, broad wave number k. To this end, uh, so uh, we uh, uh, so divide uh, so this continuous system. Uh, so the uh, so the discretize uh, so uh, we discretize the uh, unit cell to the n lattice sites, and uh, the spacing is a uh, uh, delta is equal to uh, equal to a over n. Then the Schrodinger equation uh, becomes an eigenvalue problem or a discrete model uh, at this form. So we can apply the number of band theory in a tight binding system to the uh, discretized system. In fact, uh, from the eigenvalue equation, uh, we can get the broad Hamiltonian H and uh, uh, we can also get the characteristic equation of the H beta uh, at this form. And uh, so from this characteristic equation, uh, we can get the generated brilliant zone. So in fact, uh, because the characteristic equation is a, a quadratic equation for beta, the condition for the generated brilliant zone uh, can be given by this form. And uh, from the uh, beta's equation, uh, the absolute value of the beta one and the beta two uh, can be determined as this form. Uh, and finally, uh, in the continuous limit, uh, L to be infinite, uh, we can get the, uh, uh, so this form. Yeah, so the R uh, means the, uh, radius of the generated brilliant zone. Yeah, in fact, uh, in this case, the generated brilliant zone form a, a circle with the radius R. And, uh, if, and uh, let me note that the uh, uh, complex broad wave number K uh, can be given by uh, this, uh, can be given by uh, this form. So the imaginary part of the complex broad wave number uh, is uh, log R. Okay. Uh, so as an example, uh, so uh, we focus on the toy model uh, given by this uh, formula. Uh, uh, Px equal Px is constant and uh, lambda one and lambda two is equal to the sine square and the V is equal to zero. So in this toy model, uh, the generated brilliant zone is given by uh, this formula. And uh, yeah, in fact, uh, we show the uh, energy levels in a finite system size and uh, uh, energy spectra uh, obtained from the generated brilliant zone. And uh, these uh, results uh, match uh, each other. And uh, so, uh, and uh, let me note that from this figure, the spectrum with the periodic boundary condition becomes an open curve. Yeah, in fact, in uh, uh, tight binding systems, the spectrum under uh, periodic boundary conditions uh, necessarily surround the uh, energy spectrum in an uh, open boundary condition. Uh, however, uh, so 
this is not the case in a continuous system. So if you're interested in this point, uh, so please read uh, this previous work. And uh, so finally, I described the uh, boundary, uh, so depend, boundary dependence, uh, boundary condition dependence of the uh, so energy spectrum. Yeah, in fact, uh, in a finite open chain, uh, the eigenstates depends on the type of open boundary conditions. And uh, yeah, in, of course, the energy levels uh, also depends on the open boundary conditions. Yeah, so in this figure, the red, uh, uh, so means that uh, so wave functions under uh, the uh, degree boundary condition under uh, the blue means that uh, uh, wave function in the uh, Neumann boundary condition. And however, uh, so in a finite infinite open chain, the energy spectra uh, uh, shown in green uh, include uh, so these uh, red energy levels and the blue energy levels. So we find that the uh, energy spectra in a large system sites do not depend on the type of open boundary conditions. So this is consistent with the uh, uh, number of band theory in a, con in a tight binding system. Okay, so uh, I summarize my talk. Uh, in, in our work, uh, we construct the number of band theory in a non Hamishan tight binding system and in a non Hamishan continuous system. So in this uh, pre, uh, in these works, we show that energy spectra can be obtained from the general de Brillouin zone. And uh, in a tight binding system, the general de Brillouin zone can have cusps and uh, depends on the system parameters. Uh, uh, on the other hand, in a continuous system, the general de Brillouin zone from, forms a circle. So which means that the localization length of all the scheme modes is common. So that's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Any questions, any comments? More questions, comments? So if I may. Go ahead. Yes, um, it was the issue that we were talking about before. Josh says mm -hmm. that when you go to the thermodynamic limit, the, the density of states of the two systems becomes the same. Well, I think it becomes the same as a function of energy, but I think the open chain is multiplied by a factor of two. Namely, mm -hmm. it, just, it just has twice as many states, but the energies are the same, but the, but the, de but the degeneracy of the states is not the same. That's, that's what I think is the difference between the open chain made infinite and the periodic chain. Uh, when, uh, 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 uh. when you identify the two endpoints, you kill half the modes and then they become the same. I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah in fact, um, you can yeah, just uh, use different boundary conditions at infinity. You can. Yes, uh, periodic or anti-periodic ones. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying, uh, Josh, is that, uh, is that to show the equivalence, you have to do something special with the boundary conditions. Yes, I agree. I agree. Uh, either, um, if you just use the signs for the, for the, uh, the Richelieu boundary conditions, of course, you're putting out, putting away the, the cosines. Yeah. So obviously you are uh, uh, using only uh, that, was, that was all I was saying from the beginning. Yes. Okay, yeah. But uh, up to this factor of two, uh, uh, the density of states is the same. That's why that's mm. why it doesn't matter uh, uh, which, I mean, uh, when, you, when you do a black body radiation, you don't care to leading order on the, on the, on the shape of the, 
on the shape of the uh, black body or the boundary conditions at the wall of the of, of the black body. Uh, only when you consider subleading corrections do do you see the will you will see the the difference. That's the for example in the Casimir effect. Uh, okay. Um... Well, I don't, I don't want to go too far off the topic, but I, let me just very quickly describe a calculation I did many years ago. Um, I took a closed universe, quantized all the modes propagating in the closed universe, and took a black body distribution. And I found I got the T to the four, which is what you're saying, which I would get if the universe was open. <clears throat> but I also got a one over T to the four correction. And I was, what? yes, that's what I got, because the closed, the, the closed modes are cavity modes, whereas mm -hmm. the open universe are, are, are plane waves. So the answer, was, the answer was different. And I was so disappointed that the difference was not observable, that it was, so, that it was too small. Because <laughs> I was hoping that I could do that and show that we could determine the, the, whether the universe was open or closed just by looking at the spectrum. But it turned out it didn't work. But if you just quantize um, modes propagating in a closed cavity, you and you do the thermodynamic limit, you get a correction to the black body form. Yes, of course, of course. And but then, you, that's don't get, you don't get it in an open universe. That's, that, was, that was my point. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no correction to the black body formula in an open universe. It's only in a closed universe. And it's because it's a different boundary condition. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that, that, was, that, was, that was the point I was making. Mm -hmm. Now, if I can ask a different question, can you go, you showed somewhere that you showed that the endpoints, the modes were localized. It was quite yeah. a, about 12 or, there it is, there it is. Now, now that was it, that, that, that page you had. You showed it a moment ago. Go back. Go it was back 10. Go back. I go 10. Then. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ah, Thank you. There we go. Now, what happens to these modes that are localized when you make the chain infinite? Where do they go? Uh, so, in the open boundary conditions? Yes. On the, the picture on the left. Yes. Where, where do the localized modes go when you make the chain longer? I mean, I mean they have to stay there. Yeah, basically, the... Uh, I think what may happen is the energy might go like one over the length of the chain. And so it becomes negligible. But nonetheless, I don't think those modes can disappear. No, yeah. it should go to infinity, the energy. It's, it's the end of the band. It's the... yes. Okay, yes, that's right. Energy goes to infinity and psi goes to zero. So we're, so it, it, the mode can't, uh, somehow it looks like the mode can't disappear in if the open chain becomes an infinite length, that, which is a sort of variant of the question I was asking before. Well, it's a singular limit, uh, so... Uh... <laughs> Uh, that's the difference between having infinite uh, volume or length to begin with or approaching it. It's not the same. I agree. Okay. Anyway, that, I, I'm just curious to know what, what, what do you do um, when, you, when you take the picture on the left and you make the length of the chain infinite and you recover the picture on the right, uh -huh. what, what happened to the localized modes? Just where did they? I just want to know where they went. Uh, yeah. So, um, in fact, so we focus only the so left left figure, but and uh, so we don't consider the so right figures. Uh, but uh, so in other previous work, uh, for example, the uh, so. Uh, by cutting procedure, uh, so by using the cutting procedure, uh, so the uh, connection between the open boundary conditions and the periodic boundary conditions uh, was studied. Uh, but uh, so, 
sorry, I don't know the detail of the previous work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frida has a question. Yeah, maybe it's a stupid question, but I don't know. In non-emission bound state problems, very often they appear Robin boundary conditions. So the boundary conditions are somehow complex conjugate to each other at the right or left side of the ring. Um, why uh, do you concentrate only on periodic boundary conditions or open boundary conditions? Don't you have more freedom to choose boundary conditions at infinity if you, for instance, uh, allow uh, wave functions to be somehow uh, not periodic, but if you close the ring, you'll come to the complex conjugate of the wave function. Maybe this gives you a bit uh, more richer and deeper understanding in the whole algebra, uh, in the whole um, energy spectrum, which you can get if you are non-Hermitian. Uh, so, So, uh, 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 uh. yeah, first, yeah, in the first place, so we uh, start with the uh, 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 finite open chain, and uh, we study the uh, 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 asymptotic behavior of the system in the uh, some dynamic limit and. Uh, uh, so in fact the uh, so so we we don't have idea to access the infinite uh, access the information in the infinite open chain I mean, you could uh, in, uh, enlarge a box with Robin boundary conditions, and then you have a, a circle where at the end, the wave function uh, goes to the complex conjugate wave function. Com sorry, complex conjugate to... Uh, so... Uh, So you mean that, uh, uh, so are you talking about the uh, so boundary, con boundary condition dependence of the eigenstates, right? Well, you introduce here a non-Hermitian band theory, but you concentrate either on uh, periodic boundary conditions or uh, such open boundary conditions. But if yes. you go to the non-Hermitian regime, you can also extend the uh, variety of your boundary conditions. And the very typical boundary condition you have in non-Hermitian system is the Robin boundary conditions. Somehow uh -huh. on the right side of the box, you have some constant A. And on the left side, you have the complex conjugate uh, of this uh, number. So if uh -huh. you go around the circle, uh, you are not forced to go to the same value of the wave function or to the negative wave function to get anti-periodic boundary conditions. Uh -huh. You can go also to the complex conjugate wave function. I see, I see. Okay, so yeah, in fact, the, uh, so in our work, we focus on the two types of the boundary conditions. So uh, open boundary conditions are periodic boundary conditions. And uh, yeah, in fact, uh, so we can consider the so uh, many many types of the boundary conditions. However, so yeah, so uh, all boundary conditions uh, can be characterized by can be characterized by, characterized uh, into uh, so either boundary conditions. Yeah, so for example, uh, so by connecting uh, the so left edge to the right edge, so this is the, uh, uh, this, this boundary conditions corresponds to the basic boundary conditions, uh, I think. And, and uh, however, the, uh, so yeah, in fact, the 
our open boundary conditions uh, def are defined as a, uh, so bunny the uh, defined as that uh, wave functions vanishes uh, vanishes at the uh, uh, boundaries of the of boundary of the systems and uh, yeah and, and in so so this and in fact uh, so uh, so if we consider the another type of uh, sorry uh, another uh, type of bound, open boundary conditions for example uh, we put uh, the complex potential on the uh, bound boundaries uh, sorry on the uh, we put uh, the complex potential at the uh, uh, boundary sites uh, n equal one and n equal l however so uh, uh, sorry uh, so nonetheless nevertheless so we can get the uh, same uh, condition uh, for the generated brillant zone uh, as this form. So, in fact, uh, in the continuous, in the number of band theory in a continuous systems, the, uh, uh, so in both degree boundary conditions and uh, the Neumann boundary conditions, uh, so the energy spectra can be obtained as this, as the green, as these green lines. So uh, this uh, fact uh, is, uh, uh, this fact respects the, uh, that the uh, generated brilliant zone uh, do not depend on any boundary conditions of an open chain. Okay, any more comment? Question? Yeah, may, may I have a, a comment no, sure. or maybe a couple of things? Yeah, thank you. So uh, first of all, thanks for the nice talk. Uh, thank you. Very, very interesting. So maybe, maybe I should go backward in the pages. In page, on page 30, you refer to the Bogolyubov of the Gen, right? Is... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, uh, this is um, this is the em embryonic form of some sort of a one-dimensional field theory. Now uh, that you um, uh, now you are quantizing, so to speak, second. I don't like this expression, second quantization, but sort of second quantizing this uh, this system. So then, uh, if you have those uh, skin states, those mm -hmm. localized skin states, uh, they should be like two halves of a soliton, like a, like a Jakiv, uh, Jakiv uh, um, uh, Soliani, or Jakiv, uh, I forgot that. Mm -hmm. I think Soliani, uh, soliton, um, do you think so? Uh, Are you familiar with that? Uh, sorry, Jakiv Rebi, Jakiv Rebi, soliton. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, yeah. So I don't know, and I have no ideas for solid. Mm. Okay, okay. If you don't know, that's fine. Uh, uh, on, Sorry. on slide, 22, thank you. That, that's fine. Uh, on slide twenty-two, uh, 22? I wanted to ask something about yeah uh, about the large L limit. Yeah, here in your uh, yes. uh, spectral condition. Uh, do you know what will happen if you will take? Uh, Beta two, the modulus of beta two and beta uh, to beta three, so so they come close together, and at the same time l to infinity, and such that beta two over beta three in modulus depends on l. So beta two of, over beta three goes to one in an l-dependent manner, uh, as l goes to infinity. Do you think you will get something interesting in that uh, so sort of double scaling limit? Do you understand what I'm saying? Ah, uh, that. Uh, so double double scaling limit. To... Yeah, beta two, beta beta three over beta two in modulus is not exactly one. It's very uh -huh. close to one, but L dependent. The difference from one 
depends on L. And as L goes to infinity, it should go, the difference should go to, ah. to zero. Okay, so in, in that limit, something something should should remain and could could give you some extra extra states. I see, I see. I think it would I think it would be interesting to 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 study this this limit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I see, I see. So that, that was just a comment. Uh, and uh, uh, last, a uh, last thing that I want to say uh, refers to slide 16, where we see your example of the uh, one-dimensional uh, non-emission chain. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, 16, or uh, yeah, so, uh, you define the, the chain on, on slide 15. Uh, now we discuss uh, it on 16. Yeah, 15, 16. Yeah. So essentially, this is the Hatano Nelson model, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, in the Hatano Nelson, uh, we can interpret the difference uh, uh, between right hopping and left hopping as some imaginary gauge potential, right? Yes, yes, right. So um, uh, since the uh, since the chain is translationally invariant, uh, I mean, it's a, it's like a gauge it, it's like a gauge uh, interaction. So I can I can gauge all the I can put all the gauge field, the non-emission or the imaginary gauge field. I can use a gauge transformation to put mm -hmm. it all on the last on the last two links, the, the one that uh, the, the link that uh, that is attached to the left hand, a left end, and the link that it is attached to the right end. In, in the middle, you will just have a pure emission chain, and uh, uh, and therefore, and since the since the open chain has uh, Dirichlet boundary conditions. Uh, namely, the wave function has to vanish uh, uh, at the endpoints. Uh, the effect of the gauge transformation will be to multiply the zero amplitude at the edges by some some big number or very small number. It will have no effect, and therefore you can gauge the you can you can remove the uh, non-hermeticity altogether from the spectrum. So it's not surprising that you are getting a purely real spectrum in this case. This you cannot do if the chain is closed. If the chain is closed, you can never get get rid of the, the gauge potential because 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 of the boundary conditions yeah it's because it's a mm -hmm. follow and and in that case if the chain were closed then you will get the the ellipse the famous ellipse uh, from hatano and nelson that, that's, uh -huh. the, that's the that's the last comment i wanted to make i see i see i mean you you can just you can just make a, a, a similarity transformation uh, uh, turning your Hamiltonian into into a real into a Hermitian Hamiltonian, uh, mm, nice. absorb, absorb the similarity matrix on on your wave function. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Kazuki, and for every comments. Yeah. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Thank you.